regulations that undermine manufacture and called for expedited approval of the permits needed for America and American infrastructure. And that means plant, equipment, roads, bridges, factories. People take 10, 15, 20 years to get disapproved for a factory. They go in for a permit. It's many, many years. And then at the end of the process, they spend tens of millions of dollars on nonsense. And at the end of the process, they get rejected. Now, they may be rejected with me, but it's going to be a quick rejection. Not going to take years. But mostly, it's going to be an acceptance. We want plants built, and we want factories built, and we want the jobs. We don't want the jobs going to other countries. We've imposed a hiring freeze on non-essential federal workers. We've imposed a temporary moratorium on new federal regulations. We've issued a game-changing new rule that says for each one new regulation, two old regulations must be eliminated. Makes sense. Nobody's ever seen regulations like we have. You go to other countries and you look at industries they have and you say, let me see your regulations. And they're a fraction, just a tiny fraction of what we have. And I want regulations because I want safety, I want environmental, uh, all environmental situations to be taken properly care of. It's very important to me. But you don't need four or five or six regulations to take care of the same thing. We've stood up for the men and women of law enforcement, directing federal agencies to ensure they are protected from crimes of violence. We've directed the creation of a task force for reducing violent crime in America, including the horrendous situation, take a look at Chicago and others, taking place right now in our inner cities. Horrible. We've ordered the Department of Homeland Security and Justice to coordinate on a plan to destroy criminal cartels coming into the United States with drugs. We're becoming a drug-infested nation. Drugs are becoming cheaper than candy bars. We're not going to let it happen any longer. We've undertaken the most substantial border security measures in a generation to keep our nation and our tax dollars safe and are now in the process of beginning to build a promised wall on the southern border. Met with General, now Secretary Kelly, yesterday and we're starting that process. And the wall is going to be a great wall. And it's going to be a wall negotiated by me. The price is going to come down just like it has on everything else I've negotiated for the government. And we're going to have a, we're going to have a wall that works. We're not going to have a wall like they have now, which is either non-existent or a joke. We've ordered a crackdown on sanctuary cities that refuse to comply with federal law and that harbor criminal aliens, and we've ordered an end to the policy of catch and release on the border. No more release. No matter who you are, release. We've begun a nationwide effort to remove criminal aliens, gang members, drug dealers, and others who pose